Yo, here's one simple mistake that you could be making that is completely ruining your chances with girls. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set dates that she cannot say no to. All right, so the first thing you gotta understand is setting a date is a process. It's not a single text. You don't, you're not texting her casually and then boom, out of the blue, you're saying, oh, we should have wine at eight on Friday. All right, that's too abrupt, all right? You ease into setting a date as if it's a hot tub. You don't dive into it like a swimming pool. So think of setting a date as a beach road trip and you're using the GPS, all right? The GPS is only gonna show you one turn at a time, all right? It's the same thing with setting a date. You can't be trying to do five things at once. You can't be worried about the next five turns when you're setting a date with a girl. It overwhelms her, and the more complex you make this, the more easy it'll be for her to say no. So you gotta know where to enter the highway before you can worry about exiting the highway. So turn one, you're, you're exiting the driveway, all right? Turn one, ask her for her opinion on an activity in a, in a playful way, like something like, so how do you feel about red wine with charming boys? Or how do you feel about ice skating with cute boys? All you're doing is offering an idea, an activity, and a positive adjective in front of boys, all right? This way, she can accept or decline the date idea and not accept or decline you. When you ask her out abruptly, she's saying yes or no to you. But to this, she's just saying yes or no to cute boys. And like girls all like cute boys, charming boys, fun boys, adventurous boys, whatever positive adjective you want to add. All right, so it makes it easier for her to say yes. It also shows confidence by implying that you're the cute boy or you're the adventurous guy. And it offers a date idea. So if she's not into that date idea, now she can reject that date idea, but she might still be completely into you. So now you can go back into conversation, restart, and offer another date idea later. This um, makes it so she's not rejecting you, like I said. Turn two, all right? Now, she, if she accepts that and she's warm and receptive to it, suggest that you two potentially get together for the activity sometime. You potentially get together for red wine. You potentially get together for ice skating sometime. One condition, promise you won't objectify me. All right, this makes it a little bit more sexual, but it's also super playful and light, okay? You're not asking for a date or a time or any of that stuff yet. All you're saying is maybe and sometime, these are your friends, might. So this way, it doesn't make her think too hard. Like I said, anybody that you're trying to set plans with, the harder they have to think, the less, the less likely it is to happen. So turn three, ask her what her schedule is looking like. So what's your schedule looking like this week? What's your schedule looking like this weekend? All right, this way she can offer you a couple days that you can pick from and not you just saying like, oh, let's do this on Thursday, all right? There's a time and a place for you setting a date like on a specific day, but that's more advanced. We're just gonna keep it really simple. Ask her for her schedule and then she'll give you a couple days. And the more days she give you, like the that's an indicator of interest, all right? If she's like busy, then don't push through that. She's not super into you yet. If she's like, oh, I have like a bunch of stuff going on and then she doesn't offer you another time to meet, then she's probably not that interested and you gotta go back to square one. All right, but if she gives you, I've had girls give me like, oh, I'm free Sunday night, uh, Monday night, and Thursday, and like winky face, smiley face, all that stuff, all right? So that's like, oh, wow, she's super into me. She really wants to meet me. So that way, now you can pick a day. This is turn four. Pick a day and offer a time. All right, let's do Friday at eight. If Friday was one of her days that she offered you. Now you're leading, all right? You're being masculine. You're taking charge. You're saying... Let's do Friday at eight, and that way she can accept or decline the date, uh, the uh, the day and the time. So if if she doesn't like eight o'clock, she'll say, "Oh, can we do seven thirty? And you'll be like, "Then you can, you know, move the date as needed." Finally, all you have to do is just offer to pick her up. Say, "I'm happy to pick you up if you'd like." It's the gentlemanly thing to do. It's chivalrous. Can't say that word. Chivalrous. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, if she doesn't want you to pick her up, then don't force it because she's likely trying to drive herself or take herself to the date because of safety, okay? So don't push through that. Just let her take herself if she wants to take herself. So the main thing here is do it one step 
at a time, one turn at a time. All right. That's how you end up at the beach and not on the side of the road. All right. With no gas. All right. If you hit traffic, okay. If you hit objections, if you hit resistance, then stop moving forward. All right. You don't want to rear end somebody. It's just going to cause tension. All right. And friction. So do not push through resistance. I cannot stress that enough. If she's not buying into it, then you have to take a step back. I know you're excited to see her, but you can't push through it. So it, you see how offering the date in a process in five steps allows you to handle any resistance and know exactly what the resistance is instead of offering her it all at once and not knowing if she actually likes you, if maybe she doesn't like the activity, maybe she's not free that day, maybe she's not free that time. Okay, there's so many different reasons she could be saying no. When you do it piece by piece, you can figure out, okay, she likes this, she doesn't like this, or she can do this, she can't do that. And that's how you set a date she can't say no to because she's literally building the date with you the entire time. It's a masterpiece. I know. Thank you. Have a great day. <sighs> Stacking every month, put that work in. I deserve to stay. Huh. Bring the baddies to the front. It's the type of life that I want. It's the type of life that I want. It's the type of life that I want.